in this quick tip, I'm going to show you a tool for how to unfold certain UV shells that are problematic if you just use the regular unfold rather than the unfold tool. So here I have a wall with a window cut out and I just did a straight up projection for the front facade of the wall. And when I did this, uh, there are quite a few areas that have overlap right here on the inset and I have uh, overlapping UVs right here. So you can see that red, those are faces that are overlapping and they're actually flat laying on top of each other in terms of UVs. So the first go to is just to, uh, select all the verts or select all the UVs and run unfold. So I'm going to do this for the top UV shell and I did the same thing for the top. Right over here I already made cuts so when I run unfold on that UV shell it'll unfold very nicely and very clean. So I, I made these cuts already on all the corners so the unfold can do its job properly. So if I select the UVs and then just show you what it will look like where it really works well. So I'm going to go to modify and unfold. You can see that I just opened up and uh, ran the UVs very nicely. Let me do it again for that shell. So you can see now we have very clean unfolded shell. And uh, I could even just select the uh, edges or single edge and just orient shell and orient shell so they're straight. So that worked really well for some shells. However, when I tried to do this for the main facade for the window, uh, with the window cut out for the wall, and I run unfold, it's just going to destroy everything. So that's not what I want at all. I want to keep the same shape so it's more straight, but I want to go ahead and unfold the corners and the inner parts of where the window is. So unfold in this case does not work. But you have another tool that you can use, and many are not aware of it, and it's called unfold. And unfold and unfold tool are very different. So when you go to modify, you have your unfold option. But if you go to tools, you have unfold as a tool. And it allows you to use a brush-like painting to unfold your UVs. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And it gives me a brush. And I, actually, it has options for it. So if you go to tools, unfold options, you can open this up. You have size for the brush. You can also press B, left click, hold and drag to make this smaller or bigger. Let me bring that menu back. And you also have strength. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm just going to use uh, B to make this smaller or bigger. So to make this work, I'm actually, I need to select the UVs of this. And then I'm going to go to tools and uh, use unfold tool. Then I'm going to come over a set of vertices that I already have selected. Let me make that brush smaller. B, left click, hold and drag. And I'm going to left click. And it'll begin to separate and unfold those UVs a lot better. And it'll keep my straight lines of the edges uh, with a lot more precision. So it's not going to destroy my shell. So that worked for the outside. And that actually did the job pretty good, especially in the corners here. But if I come over here on the inset, on the inside where the window is, and I start doing the same thing, it's, gonna, it's not going to work in this case. So in those situations, I can just select those UVs. Actually, let's just do a corner. And I can go to my UV toolkit and under unfold, I have unfold along U and V. And I can just run with those UV selected. I can unfold along V and then unfold along U. And it'll open those up, open those UVs up and unfold them. And if I don't want them to overlap, I can just move them manually and just kind of open that uh, space up. Or if you are not baking anything, you can just uh, leave them overlapped like this. And in my case, uh, this is the modular mesh, so I'm going to leave them overlapping. And it's such a small area, a player is not going to ever see it. And I'm not going to bring the camera up close to that area. So I'm going to overlap these and uh, that's going to work just fine. And I'm not going to be baking anything like a high res or anything in Substance Painter. So I'm just going to select these and run the same thing. Unfold along U and then unfold along V. And let's do these together. So now this UV shell is much better for texturing purposes simply by using two additional options, primarily using the tool unfold to open those up a little bit better. And when that doesn't work, then you just select the UVs and uh, try unfolding along U and V to complete it.